Well, now, it's uh, 90 years since Sir Malcolm Campbell set a world land speed record of 150 miles an hour on the vast expanse of Pendine Sands uh, in South West Wales. Today, his grandson marked the occasion by driving that same Bluebird car on the same stretch of sand. And our Wales correspondent, Howell Griffith, was there to see it. Flying once more along the coast of South Wales. Bluebird engine hasn't roared like this since the 1920s and it started a race for the record books. When Sir Malcolm Campbell took the wheel 90 years ago, the car had already claimed two land speed titles. Essentially an aircraft on wheels, he pushed its seaplane engine harder and faster than ever before, reaching 150.74 miles per hour. It's really a petrol head's dream. Um, special race car with massive history, massive engine and all the power you could possibly need. The only restriction of this thing going faster is the technology of the tyres and the chassis. Even now this car commands a crowd. Hundreds of people have driven here to see it in action. Its story is part of Britain's post-war 1920s pioneering history. Today's drive wasn't at full throttle, moving at a more modest 50 miles per hour. It meant spectators did see more than just a blue blur, while Sir Malcolm Campbell's grandson got to enjoy the ride. Very exhilarating. It's fantastic fun. Um, to get the sand sort of splattering in your face uh, and uh, the noise and the exhaust coming at you, it's a fabulous experience. It really is. In its wake, several cars and speedboats adopted Bluebird's name as others sought to break new records. But today showed how the original still has the power to inspire. Howell Griffith, BBC News, on Pendine